This morning, Harry and Meghan are back in the UK. Later today, they'll be attending the One Young World Summit up in Manchester. Then on to Germany tomorrow, marking one year out from the 2023 Invictus Games, the Olympic-style games for wounded veterans that Harry helped create. And then coming back to the UK for the Well Child Awards here in London before hopping back across the pond. Their visit comes on the heels of a headline-grabbing interview Meghan did with The Cut last week, dishing on the fallout from their world departure, telling the magazine, just by existing, we were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy, adding, it takes a lot of effort to forgive. I really made an active effort. Here in the UK, Harry and Meghan's Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor Estate is just 15 minutes from Big Brother William's new home, but no word on whether the two families plan to see each other. Last week, the brothers marking 25 years since the death of their mother, Princess Diana, on different continents, and still no signs of healing that sibling rift. The Sussexes, I think, feel that they weren't supported enough in their efforts to break free from the family and do things a little differently. They were sort of treated as pariahs for doing that rather than properly understood. This week, William and Kate are expected to be in town because all three of their children are headed back to school near Windsor. Later this month, the Cambridges are returning to the U.S., their first official visit since 2014. Prince William planning to promote his Climate Solutions Earthshot Prize and is also scheduled to speak at the United Nations General Assembly. All of this is their grandmother, Queen Elizabeth's health, is back in focus. This weekend, the 96-year-old monarch, who's up at her Scottish estate, Balmoral, missing out on one of her favorite events of the year. Prince Charles attending the Braemar Highland Games in her place. Now, guys, we are expecting to hear speeches from both Meghan and Harry. Meghan speaks tonight at the opening ceremony of the One Young World Summit. We'll hear from Harry tomorrow and Thursday, and we will be watching all of it closely to see if they actually say hi to Will and Kate at any point. Guys, I'll send it back ah, to you. All right, Molly Hunter for us there. <laughs> Molly, thank you. Thanks, Let's... Molly. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.